Roll tape. Catholic Church are helping the poor, educating children, and supporting the vulnerable. But if you really wanted Vice President Harris to accept your invitation, I guess you should have told her the funds were going to bail out the looters and rioters in Minneapolis, and she would have been here guaranteed. She would have been here. Guaranteed. It's a true pleasure to be with you this evening. Amazing pleasure. And uh, these days, it's uh, really a pleasure anywhere in New York without a subpoena for my appearance. <laughs> Anytime I don't get a subpoena, I'm very happy. <laughs> but unfortunately, Governor Walz isn't here himself, but don't worry, he'll say that he was. He's going to say he was. <laughs> but I have to be careful, however, to understand that this will be the first time in the history of this event where jokes will be fact-checked, and they will be. All polls are indicating I'm leading big with the Catholic vote, as I should be, as I should be. But I don't think Kamala has given up yet. She hasn't, instead of attending tonight. She's in Michigan receiving communion from Gretchen Whitmer. <laughs> That's the president, that you, you had a balance because you're you got to tell these jokes, but you're sitting next to people that don't like you at all. Chuck Schumer's right So how right was there. that? You know, I know him very well. I guess he doesn't like, but he likes me enough. It's, uh, it's a little bit, it's uh, hard to explain. You know, I gave him his first check. When he was young, I was young. It was his first check. I don't know if that good <laughs> or bad, but it was the first check that he ever got. He was running for, I think, assembly up in New York, and... Uh, he got it from me, so... So we should blame you, you know. for the rise of yeah, Chuck Schumer. Right. It's all on you. Blame me for right. defeating Al Gabbana. It was New York. What did Mayor Adams say to you? Because you were... y'all. I mean, he's yeah. a Democrat, you're a Republican, yeah. but you can relate because of these subpoenas. Yeah. Letitia James, she was in the back row. The weaponization. No, I, it's, it's... Look, I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone, I say it. <laughs> but Adams, he came out against the immigrants, you know, against the, the mm -hmm. destruction of New York, frankly. He did the right thing. I said, he will be indicted within six months. And he was. They indicted yeah. him. Now, I don't know if it's legit. I haven't looked at it. But it, it seems very suspicious when he, when he comes out against something they're doing. They're destroying the country. They are destroying our country. He was right. I, I, I go down the streets of New York. I went down the streets of New York two days ago. And I'm looking at migrants all over Madison Avenue, all over Fifth Avenue. I've never seen anything like it. I'll tell you, I've never seen... This is New York. Um, you see empty stores. You never saw empty stores on Madison Avenue. You never see them. It's a, it's a shame. He did the right thing, but he got indicted. And uh, they play weaponization. These are an evil group of people. These are really a bad group of people. I'm doing well with my stuff. I won in Florida. I won, I'm winning all over the place. But, you know, what they want to do is keep them busy, let me spend plenty of money fighting it, and let them maybe... Mm -hmm. But I think so far it's backfired because the public understands... The win in Florida, that was the big case. That was the case, oh, you're going to lose. Now, he actually lost because he had documents, but he didn't have the you're presidential... the documents case yeah. in Florida. That was the documents case. That was, like, they say the big one. I don't know what's the big one, but the big one. And we had a very brilliant judge, a very fair judge, and I won the case. I won the whole thing. He didn't win. Mm. They said he was grossly incompetent, and based on that, they're not going to charge him. But mm -hmm. it, the funny is, he can be president... But he can't go to court. They say he can't go to court because he's incompetent. So he can't go to court, so that's okay. But he's allowed to be president. So there's something wrong with our country when that, when that yeah. happens. But uh, I thought last night's... Eve, I thought last night's... It was evening, great. I think it was terrible that she missed it because uh, it's only been one person missed it in many years, and that's Walter Mondale, and he lost 49 to 1. Uh, but let me ask you, why do you think she God missed it? God was not with it. Mr. President, why do you think she missed it? There's a lot of theories. Okay, I think that she's not competent. Yeah. I don't want to say this kind of stuff, but I, we can't live with this. We're not going to be able to live with this. So you don't think she's funny? I don't think she's funny. I don't... Uh, look, her staff, she's got... 5% of her staff stayed with her. 95% quit. If that happened to me, I'd be front page of every... Nobody likes her. Nobody wants to be with her. And I only say this... I don't like even saying it, but we can't have her as a president. She's a Marxist. 
We're not ready for a Marxist. Do you agree with that? Anderson? I do agree with I think, you. And I think a Marxist. Yeah, let me ask you this. And, she, and she's not very good, let's just face it. Closing argument time, because we're only yeah. two and a half weeks um, until the election. So this is the final, this is it. So she realized, joy, 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 that's not working for them. Not so working now they've, too well. they've changed it. <laughs> they, now they're ramping up their rhetoric. And when she sat down with Brett Baer, she said, talking about you, he's unstable. When she uh, was speaking at a rally in Erie, Pennsylvania, she called you unstable and unhinged. And then in this new ad that they've rolled out, she's saying unhinged, more unstable, and unchecked. And then this caller that called into Charlemagne the God, his breakfast club show, um, this caller says, I have a sneaking suspicion that if Trump wins, he's going to use this law to put anyone that doesn't look white in camps. And I'm scared. And she says, yeah. So... You've hit on a really important point. What is your response and what is your closing argument? Well, first of all, the question is a pretty rough question because, uh, you know, you're giving this whole argument of this woman that I don't think she knows where she is. Uh, she's a low IQ person. She's not smart. Everyone knows that. Uh, didn't even pass her law exam. It was a big thing. She never thought she was going to be able to pass it. Uh, you know, if you tell me this stuff, I'll say it. Uh, I am a, a person that they are a threat to democracy. These people are misinformation people. They'll say, let's go out with this one. They've tried many different things. Uh, they tried, he's a dictator. He's going to take over the whole world. He's a this. It, every week they try something else. So far it hasn't worked. I guess that's the attack they have for this week. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I am the most stable human being. Remember they said uh, a stable genius. I am the most stable <laughs> human being. I've been doing this for a long time. We had four years of greatness. We had the greatest economy in history. We had the greatest border. Brian, you were down there. Absolutely. We had a border that was the best we've ever had in the history of our country. There's never been anything like it. I built 551 miles of wall, yeah. which is far more than I said I was going to build when I right. campaigned. I had a border where the drugs were at the lowest level, the human traffickers in women. They traffic in women. Everything was at the lowest level. I got kudos from, excuse me, the, the Border Patrol... Gave me with thousands of people, unanimous, every single one. They endorsed one. you, yeah, Mr. President. Yeah. They endorsed me. And, what and, can you do better than that? And the I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.